find Sn, the sum of n terms of the geometric series, 2 plus 2 thirds plus 2 over 3 squared plus dot 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 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 1. If Sn is equal to 242 over 81, find the value of n. So you have to have a look and see what A is, which is our first term, and what OR is, the common ratio. So A is the first term, which is 2, so A is equal to 2. OR is the common ratio, and to find that, we take the second term and divide it by the first term. So 3 over 2 divided by 2 is going to be a third. So the common ratio is a third. Then we take our geometric series formula. Sn equals a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. And we sub into our formula what we have. So we swap that a for 2 because we found a to be 2. a is the first term. We swap both of the r's for a third because we found the common ratio to be a third. Then a third to the power of n is going to be 1 over 3 to the power of n. And 1 minus a third is going to be 2 thirds. Now, when we're dividing fractions, what we do is we turn the second fraction upside down and we multiply. So the divide becomes multiply, and 2 over 3 becomes 3 over 2. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Or you could just say the 2's cancel out. So we have 3 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of n. So this is simplified as much as we can. So now we let it equal 248 over 81 because this is our formula for Sn and we have to let it equal 248 over 81. And then we have to solve for n. So next we want to get rid of this 3. So we're going to divide across by 3. So 248 over 81 divided by 3 is 242 over 243. And we bring down the 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of n. Then to get rid of that plus 1, we're going to have to minus 1 to both sides. Those 1s will cancel. And 242 over 243 minus 1 will end up being minus 1 over 243. So what we would have on the left would be minus 1 over 3 to the power of n. And on the right we'd have minus 1 over 243 but we want positive 1 over 3 to the power of n, so we're going to make this positive as well. So we get 1 over 243. So then what we can do is we can cross multiply and solve for n. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 243 gives us 243, and 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of n gives us 3 to the power of n. So 3 to the power of n is equal to 243, so 3 to the power of what gives us 243? So we're going to say log base 3, 243, into the calculator, and it'll give us 5. So n will be 5. So 3 to the power of 5 will give us 243. So find the value of n. n is equal to 5.